Hey everyone, Nick here again. Um, back to talk about American Idol. Last night the top 10 performed and I was hoping they'd deliver since this is the group that's going to be going out on tour and I've only ever been to one summer tour for American Idol. It was season 5, uh, the Daughtry season. And uh, I gotta say, this was not a great night overall. Uh, definitely not the best that I've seen this group. Uh, there, there were a, quite a few good performances. In fact, there was, there was one that was absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. But overall, it was a rather disappointing night. And, uh, well, let's get right into it. My rankings, worst to first. The worst of the night, DeAndre. You know, the last two weeks, of Joshua and Phillip, who opened the show those two weeks, they opened the show with a bang. DeAndre didn't open it with a pop. It was the most forgettable performance I have ever seen in the eight seasons now I've been watching American Idol. It was just, it was just bad. Uh, that's just it. It wasn't even bad. You remember bad performances. This was bland. I forgot it the second it was over. I forgot it before it was over. <laughs> anyway, number nine, at least test tone. I've said everything I could say about her. She's overrated. I don't like her. I'll never get into her. Moving on. Number eight. Uh, Joshua Ledette. Now, let's face it. Last week, he peaked. He's never going to top himself. And Unfortunately, this week, it actually seemed like he was trying to. I'm like, don't even try to. Just do a good job on your own. Like, make each performance good. Don't try to live up to it. Because... It didn't, it wasn't as good as last week. It wasn't anywhere even close to last week, and he tried too hard. And this was definitely his weakest performance to date. Which is too bad that it comes directly after his best one. Anyway, uh, moving on. Number seven, Skylar Lane. At first I was a little intrigued that she was making a Billy Joel song country, but then it turned out that not one, but two other country artists have done it before. I think I said uh, Garth Brooks and... I want to say Brad Paisley was the other one. I don't know. Not 100% on that. But, uh, yeah. Point is that Skylar really actually didn't do anything new with it. And, I mean, it was alright, but it, it wasn't special. It really wasn't special at all. Uh, number six, uh, Holly Kavanaugh. She was good, but I, I know I've said before that she's kind of turning into Pia from last season. At least I think I've said that. Well, if I haven't, then I should have been. Like Pia last season, she's singing nothing but these big ballads. Uh, and Pia got booted out fairly early. Although, and to be fair, the save had already been used by that point, so the judges couldn't do anything about it. If Holly, Holly could be in trouble. I mean, not tonight, but maybe the next couple of weeks. I just hope for her sake the save is still in play by then. But I hope that Holly can get a little more upbeat. I mean, she was good. Do not get me wrong about that. She was good, but it was really disappointing. Uh, number five, He Jun Han. Now, this performance was not vocally perfect in any way, shape, or form. There were, there were a fair share of good moments, but there weren't a lot. So why is he in my top five? Simple. He was a lot of fun to watch. And that counts for something... Especially on a night where almost everyone had just sung slow, dreary songs. I mean, up until he Heejun was the eighth performance of the night, I think only one other person before him had sung an upbeat song. I mean, by no means was Heejun the best of the night, but it was a lot of fun to watch. And it was definitely a step up over last week. Uh, number four. Um, Erica Van Pelt. First of all, I don't like the new look. I liked her more before. I mean, with this hair, she looks like Adam Lambert. It's a little freaky. But, despite that, this was her best performance, in my opinion. And she sang it very well, and I think the new haircut might have actually... What I think there must be some magical hair dye that they put in her hair, because uh, I think it must have sunk in and made her voice even better. Made her perform even better. She was just fantastic. 
having said that, I am a little worried about her going home just because I'm not sure that she's quite popular enough. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very worried about her tonight. Number three, Jessica Sanchez. I like Holly. She's also doing on the big battles, but at least last week, Jessica tried something new, although it, it didn't work out too well. This week, she proved that she is best at these, and she is great at them. But she also showed that she's at least willing to try something different every week. So I give her credit for that. But this week, Jessica, she was just... She was just great. I mean, Billy Joel, I was, wasn't sure how well she would do with it. She did as well as she possibly could have done. Not her best, but very, very good. Like he, June was a step up over last week. Number two, Philip Phillips. Now, I know I, I've said it the last two weeks that it was his best performance yet. Well, guess what? Tonight, I thought, last night, I mean, I thought was his best performance yet. I mean, that's why I like Philip. He keeps topping himself every week. Now, if he can keep doing that, then he's gonna... I mean, by the time there's six people left, he's gonna have this thing in the bag already. He pretty much already does. But he's gonna cinch it if he keeps it up. And the number one best of the night, Colton Dixon. He sang... He sang Piano Man. That's one of the... That's probably Billy Joel's most famous song. And Colton, he put a modern twist on it. He made it sound like it was released yesterday. And he absolutely blew me away with it. This was one of the best performances of the season, in my opinion. I really liked it. I've been a huge fan of him all along. I don't care about his re the religious comments he made. A lot of people are annoyed about that. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm not religious, but, you know, it, it doesn't phase me like it does to some other people. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was an absolutely fantastic performance that Colton gave. My opinion, he was easily the best of the night. All right, uh, my predictions. The bottom three. I'm thinking DeAndre is probably a guarantee, and as much as I hate to say it, Erica I think is a guarantee as well. The third spot is probably a little more up in the air. I think it might be Elise again, despite all the judges pimping. But maybe for once, America actually listened and just voted for her anyway. I didn't, but you know, I can't speak for America. Realistically, though, I'm thinking Skyler, actually, is going to be in the, the bottom three. So, yeah, bottom three, DeAndre, Erica, and Skyler. And as much as I hate to say this, I think Erica is going home. I hope I'm proven wrong. I hope it's DeAndre. Actually, I hope it's Elise, but DeAndre, I think, was the absolute worst tonight, without any question. So, uh, that's what I thought. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with my thoughts on the results.